Back in 2008, the British Geological Survey was approached by Crossrail. Now Crossrail at that time was one of the biggest construction projects in Europe and it was aiming to create a new high capacity, high speed rail link between Berkshire in the west, Essex in the east and Kent, North Kent in the south. And that involved putting tunnels, new tunnels under London. The thing about the underground in London is that most of it is built in the London clay, which is a fairly straightforward um, tunnelling medium. It just so happened that in the Farringdon area, the geology is a lot more complicated, which as well as clay includes beds and lenses of sand and gravel, and that gives geotechnical problems. In the Farringdon area, the information they were getting from their boreholes, they weren't able to resolve it into a straightforward geological model in which they had much confidence. And that's why they came to us, because they thought we could help with that process. And as it turned out, we could, partly because we had, at that time, under development software that enabled us to make good 3D geological models in a way that, as far as I'm aware, no other software does. It lets the geologist use the software as a geologist, not as a software expert. Once we'd produced the model um, to our own satisfaction and handed it over to, to Crossrail, they passed it on to the companies who were doing the design and building of the Farringdon station tunnels. They could use it when they were actually doing the tunnelling, working underground, to ensure that it was done as safe a way as possible, but also the most efficient way possible, and make, I think, significant savings of time and project money. So the British Geological Survey was set up in 1835 to undertake geological mapping of the country. But its remit has expanded since then and we now do a whole range of different activities. We do geological mapping, looking at earthquakes, volcanoes, geohazards. So we've got a core store here which is a repository for a huge amount of geological data that's been collected over many decades. And these are used to provide information for future projects. So for example, we've got a lot of borehole core from London that can be used to help inform future projects, for example, like, like the Farringdon Station project. I think we ended up using a total of 140 borehole records, some of which went back into the 19th century. They were really quite old. And so that was making use of the database that is held at BGS that added real value. The great thing about the project was that the complexity of the geology in that part of London meant that although faults were suspected, they'd never been mapped before, they were unknown. Having it applied was one of the first times that such a complex and detailed model of such a small area had been done for this purpose. The whole project was state-of-the-art and exemplar. It was just wonderful to be part of. Contractors came to us with a real-world problem that we were able to address using something we had developed and with knowledge that we had in-house. We provided a solution for them. That solution was taken forward in the shape of a 3D model used by the contractors. Information was added to it and then the end of their project was returned to BGS so that could validate the methodology but also it could add something of considerable value to the National Geological Database that BGS in turn can take forward and use to the benefit of other projects.